I was hoping I'd see you here. Welcome back to the second episode of Reloading with Rosie. Today we're going to look at some of the finer points of the reloading process and have a chat with my first special guest. Today I've invited Vince Bottomley to join me in my shed. Vince and I go way back. Hi Vince. Hi Thank Rosie. you so Welcome. much for coming. So Vince, you are a reloader as well, right? Yep, been reloading for God knows how many years. Um, I started reloading like most shooters to save money. Yep. But now accuracy is just as important. Okay, well I'm excited to learn, so let's get started. Okay, uh, the first bit is to determine the overall length of our reloaded cartridge. And uh, to do this, we can make use of this little device from Hornady. Okay. Um, I don't know how to do this, so okay, I've never done it you. before. Is there an easy way? Um, yeah, this makes it very easy. This device is specific to the cartridge that we're using, which is the 243 Winchester today. and we're using the bullet that we're actually going to use in our loaded round. Mm -hmm. If we were to change the bullet, we would have to take this measurement again. But once we've taken this measurement for this bullet, we never need to do it again. Okay. So we'll just insert that loosely in there. Slide that into the chamber, making sure it's firmly seated. Push this rod at the back until we can feel it contact the bullet, which will push the bullet into the rifling, tighten that little knob, carefully withdraw it, and that is our overall. Okay, range. so now I'm looking at a dummy round which fits my rifle perfectly, That's it, right? Yeah. Okay. The, the only reason we may need to adjust that is if it didn't fit the magazine. Yeah. Um, but in this case, we know it will fit the magazine. So that is the starting point now where we can set our reloading guys up. Okay, so let me get this right. I have all my brass batched by the number of times it's been fired, ready to go. I've already tumbled it with the M2 case tumbler, um, but that did take a while, so do you have any tips to speed things up? Well, it's important to keep a check on how many times you've fired your brass, Rosie, so that's good. Um, but before we do any other prep on the cases, we need to run them all through a full length sizing die. Do we not need to trim them to an even length first? Not yet, because the sizing die will actually squeeze and possibly lengthen the brass case. So once we put them all through the sizing die, we'll go for the trimmer. Um, and wait, don't we need to lube things up? We do, yeah, we must lube the cases. If you forget to lube your cases, they will stick in the die, so that is most important. Okay, so what is the next step? Okay, the next step is to run our brass through the full length sizing die. So I'll come around that side of the bench okay. and guide you through it. So take one of the cases, and a little roll on the loop pad and then put it in the shell holder. Yeah. Good firm pull on the handle. Okay. Okay, so this case will now fit in any rifle chambered in 243 win. It will, yeah. It's returned okay. the case to factory spec now and it's also removed the, the little primer, the spent primer. Yep. So now wipe off the loop, that's important, and we'll go on with the next stage of case prep. Okay. So the cam lock trimmer is already set to the reloading manual spec for this case length. Can we trim now? We can. Okay, Rosie, if you can just check the length of that for me with the yeah. dial caliper. Exactly 2.035. Which is perfect for a 243 win. Great. So I usually chamfer the neck by hand, but I'm guessing you've got a quicker way? Yeah, nothing wrong with doing it by hand, but this is the Hornady case prep duo, which speeds up the job. Um, okay, I'll have a go. So those two cutters, one will chamfer the inside of the neck, and that one will chamfer the outside of the neck. That's fine, just a little touch. Excellent. Okay. Okay. And final two bits of preparation now, we'll just swap these two tools out. Okay, and the, the brush will take the residue from the inside of the neck. Fine, and the other one will clean the primer pocket. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Our case is absolutely spot on, perfect, Amazing. ready to reload. Thank you so much for coming, it's been so useful and I've learned so much. 
thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. You're welcome. And if you have any more questions or if you'd like a kit list, you can always find me on the Edgar Brothers website.